guys welcome to another video tutorial and today we'll be continuing our next cloud series today i want to show you how to further secure your next cloud using passwordless login okay so when you talk about passwordless login um for those who have um like uh, iphones or a mac um, you can use like your iPhone to do a pass key um, or an iCloud key, the same for your MacBook. Uh, that would be a device you will use to log in to your next cloud rather than entering a username and password. Um, so that's what we're going to set up today. Uh, you can also use something um, such as a security key, such as YubiKey or some other sort of um, hardware security key token. Um, there's a bunch of them I'm going to have linked down in the description section below. You can buy them. Um, note, I have no affiliate to them, but I highly recommend YubiKey because um, they are the most prominent ones when it has to do with security keys. Um, so if you want to harden the security of your next cloud, you can implement um, passwordless login. So for us to do that, you're going to obviously have a Nextcloud user account. So this is default with Nextcloud. You don't have to do any additional configuration. All you need to have is your security key um, and then a Nextcloud account. So every user is going to be able to set their own pass keys or their own security key by themselves. So first of all, here you want to log in as a user. So I'm going to log in here as Geek Together. And then I'll enter my password. And once you're all logged in to your next cloud, you want to go into um, your username and you want to head into settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go over to security. And here you're going to see the option that says passwordless authentication. So you're going to have to set up a device. Um, note it has to be a Fido 2 standard device. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description section below so you can read more about Fido 2 keys or the standard as well. Um, so once you get that, you just want to add the device. And then for you Mac users, you, you can use an iCloud keychain. Or you can use your Google Chrome profile. But in this case, we want to use a security key. So once I do that, I am now going to be prompted to plug in my security key. So if you plug in your security key, um, you're going to have to, for most keys, you're going to have to touch the key. And once you touch that key, you can see Nextcloud wants you to go ahead and set up that device. Okay. Or give it a name. So this way, we're just going to call it UB key okay and once you do that you select the add button and just like that you've added your security key so we're going to log out here and now for other or in order for us to log into our account we don't have to use our username and password all we can now do is select the login with the device and then we're going to enter just our username so in this case geek together and then once you do that you're going to tap on your key again and then just like that you're logged in to next cloud using your security token so this way um you don't have to enter your username and password every time if you have a very strong password which i recommend you just need to have the physical key to log into your next cloud and if you noticed i was able to log in without entering my pin to my security key so with this passwordless login once you use the key to log in it might also prompt you to enter your pin and once you do that then you're going to be able to log into your next cloud instance So another way we can use our security key with Nextcloud is to use it as a multi-factor authentication method. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to log in, log out here. Sorry. And then I'm going to log back in as admin. Okay. And once I log in, once you're logged in as admin, you want to go into apps. And there should be an app under security, which I already have downloaded called the two-factor 
web authentication okay you want to download and enable this app and then if we go now to administrative settings if we go to security you can see we are now able to enforce two-factor authentication but before you do that you want to make sure all your users have actually set up the security keys or tokens um then you can enforce this because if you enforce this without the users setting them up i've noticed that next cloud does not ask the users to set them up when they log in for the first time okay so now we're going to log out again and then we're going to log in back as geek together and once we're all logged in we want to head over to our settings and then we go to security and now you see we have the option to use a security key as an mfa or two-factor authentication method so we're going to add a security key once again i will plug in my security key here and once you have that plugin you want to select the use um, a security key of course if you are using icloud keychain you can go ahead and use that or if you're using the google chrome's profile but we'll do our security key here and we'll touch our key and as you can see, our key was accepted. So we're just going to give this a name, UB key, and we'll add that. And once you have that added, if we log out now and try to log in again as Geek Together, you can see we are prompted to use our pass key to log in to this device. So if I touch my security key, now I'm able to log in. This is a better way to secure your next cloud. So that way, even if someone was able to compromise your password, they still can log into your next cloud instance because they need the physical security key to be able to log in. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.